all the global actions which are available to us in the org will be available to us in the flow builder as well meaning here i have got these global actions i have global actions like new account new case new contact log a call email so on and so forth now i get access to all these global actions in the lightning flow builder as well and if you want to use them you need to click on this and then click on actions and followed by that if i want to access new account global action then i need to scroll down until i find account there you go i have new account global action here so the point that i'm trying to put forward here is we can access the global actions back in the flow builder with the help of actions menu item that we have in the interaction layer let's say i have a business requirement where i need to come up with some ui which i can use to quickly create an account record in that case i'm going to click on the screen element I'll try to take the help of text based component. I'm going to drag it and drop it. Let me provide the label here. This is going to be account name. If I want to mark this as required, I'm going to check this checkbox. Let me also give a name to the screen. I'm going to click on done. So I have a screen element here, which is going to accept the input from the user which in turn is going to capture the account name and followed by that i can make use of the action here and then scroll down until you find account and then i'm going to take the help of new account quick action for account name i'm going to provide the value of the account name that we are capturing in the previous screen element let me provide the label so this is going to be create new account and followed by account name I also have some configuration options here. If I'm interested in capturing the account phone, then I can toggle this. Also, I need to receive the input from the user and source the user input to account phone. And if I want to capture account type, again, I can accept the input from the user and I can source it to account type. But for time being, I'm gonna put it simple. I'll only try to create account record by accepting the account name. And then I'm gonna click on done. Let me try to give this a save. Let me click on debug. I'm going to run this. Let me provide an account name here. This is going to be Burlington Textiles Corp of Canada. So we are accepting the input from the user. The moment I click on next, we will try to source this input to the new account quick action. There you go. If you look at the debug log, you'll understand that we are trying to source this user input to the name field. And when I go back to the list of all the account records, You will find Burlington Textiles Corp of Canada, which is what we have created a couple of minutes back with the help of the new account quick action in the lightning flow. Now you can definitely argue back by saying, Krishna, why do we have to take this route when we have a bunch of other options? Meaning, here I can take the help of fields option and I can definitely create an account record. Now I can create a new record variable of type account and source that here. Followed by that, I can drag and drop the fields onto the screen. Now using these fields, I can accept the input from the user and followed by that, I'm going to take the help of create record block and I can commit the changes back to the database. Now that being one way of creating a new record, we can also take the help of base components, drag and drop four or five different base components onto the screen element. I can have a text box. I can have a couple of picklist fields for industry rating and I can have it one other text box for account number and followed by that I can work with assignment block here. So step one, I'm going to accept the input from the users. Step two, I'm going to take the help of assignment block and I'll try to do the field mapping. Step three, I'm going to take the help of create records block and I'm going to commit the changes back to the database. We can take this route as well. Now, if you take a step back and if you look at these three different ways of creating an account record, you definitely have to accept with me that the most easiest way of creating an account record is going to be using the new account quick action. As mentioned here, it's not that we can only accept or source the account name. We can also enable these configuration options and we can accept the input for fields like account phone, account type, industry and source them to these fields. Now, 
you might be having an interesting question. The question is, Krishna, we agree with you that this is the most easiest way of creating an account record. However, my business requirement is, I'll have to capture the account name. Followed by that, I have to capture account phone, account type, industry. And I also have a custom field that I have to accept. So I have to accept four or five different pieces of input from the user, out of which three fields are going to be standard fields, a couple of fields are going to be custom fields. And after I collect these pieces of information, that's when I need to commit these changes back to the database. However, what I see here is just account name and bunch of other standard fields. But what I would need is three standard fields and maybe a couple of other custom fields. How do I do that? You need to understand that this quick action here is completely customizable. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me go back to the global actions. I'm going to click on edit here. And then I'm going to click on the layout link here. Followed by that, I can drag and drop the fields that I would like to see on the new account quick action. As of now, I don't have any custom fields. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of custom fields. I'm going to click on account. And then fields and relationships. New. I'm going to create a text field. Let this be old account name. Let me create another field. Let this also be a text field. And I'm going to call this as old account number. Length is going to be 100 maybe. Click on next. Next. And then click on save. So I did create two custom fields. And what I'm trying to achieve here is make sure that these two custom fields are available to us on the new account quick action screen. For that, let me go back to global actions. Let me click on cancel. I'm going to click on layout here. Search for old account name and old account number. Let me drag it and drop it here. Give it a save. Back to the flow builder. Let me reload this. Let me also try to open up this quick action. And when I scroll down, you'll find old account name and old account number. So I can enable these two options. And followed by that, I can accept the input from the user here. I can have two text boxes. One for old account name and the other one for old account number. Let me click on done. Let me give this a save. I'm going to debug it. The account name is going to be Burlington Textiles Corp of Asia. Old account name is going to be Burlington Textiles Corp of India. And account number is going to be something on this lines. Click on next. Okay, we see null here. That is because we did not source the user input back to the new account quick action. So this here has to be old account name. And this here has to be old account number. Click on done. Give this a save. Let me try to debug this again. This is going to be Burlington Textiles Corp of Asia. The old account name is going to be Burlington Textiles Corp of India. Old account number is going to be something on the lines of this. 
click on next perfect now back to the list of accounts i have it here let me open this up details there you go i have the old account name and old account number captured here so this is how i can make sure that the global action new account is modified and that in turn is used and customized in the core actions of lightning flow and in turn using these customizations we can quickly create a new account record as mentioned earlier there are a couple of other ways using which we can create an account record with lightning flows however this here is going to be the easiest way possible now just like how we have one action for creating the account record we also have an action for creating a contact record we have it here and then we have one action for creating a new case one action for creating a new lead new event new note task opportunity so on and so forth and not only that the cherry on the cake is i can create a custom object and i can create a global action for the custom object and followed by that i will be finding the custom object here in these list of actions and i can use the global action on the custom object in the flow meaning step 1 i'll create a custom object and step 2 i'm going to create a global action for that custom object and step 3 i will find that global action on the custom object here and the last step is i'm going to take the help of the global action that we have created on the custom object and we can create a new record into the custom object and this is what we'll be looking at in the next episode see you there